Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to turn this Delta drum sander into a buffing machine. And let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. Alright, so this is my uh, Delta uh, bu uh, drum sander. Alright guys, so this is my Delta uh, drum sander. And if you've watched my channel, you've seen me use this before. Uh, typically to surface down material, thickness down material to a very, uh, especially when I'm using veneers or, or sound boards or backs to guitars. Uh, you can see here from the, from the sticker, it is a model 31-250. And um, it, it, it's a great machine. It's got a pretty big motor on it. Run this drum here. Uh, but it also has this attachment. Uh, so when you turn the motor on, which I'll show you here, uh, this spins along with the drum. Uh, and essentially it's just uh, the, the the shaft here on the drum just extends through uh, the frame and you know there's a bushing here and it extends on through there and it comes out and this this I guess it's just sort of like a, um, a spindle sander is attached to it and what I want to do is see if I can take all this apart and use the the arbor here uh, to retrofit some of Stumax buffing wheels uh, onto it and show you what I'm talking about so I have some uh, some stuff here on the bench that I just picked up from Stumac and you know you could buy you know five six hundred bucks you can buy one of their they're buffing machines, but I think I can get away with under 200 uh, for all this stuff, retrofitting my my drum sander. Uh, so I went ahead and bought two different types of uh, buffing wheels. Uh, they And I don't really know much about it, but they have two different kinds, Canton and Domit uh, style wheels, and apparently the Domit styles are extra soft and you could definitely feel the difference this is just a little bit of a rougher feel than this one and I've also read that it's a good idea to sort of stack a couple of these together to get a to get a uh, thicker surface area for buffing and I went ahead and picked up on their site too a couple of uh, different compounds buffing compounds and I figure I'll use with the with the rougher wheel, the fine compound, and the extra fine compound with the dent, uh, the dominant wheel. And uh, I also picked up this buffing wheel rake that, uh, as the you know, once it's all working and the wheel's spinning, you use this to sort of clean out all the built-up compound and get uh, get it. To a nice surface when you're ready to start buffing. Uh, I guess after a while, uh, the compound will build up on the edge of this, and that'll just help clean that out. Uh, and I also bought these flanges that um, help hold this in place. And I think these will fit just fine on the arbor here of the drum sander. Uh, I might have to get some hardware. We'll see once we get this thing apart and start working on it. But I'm pretty optimistic that we will be able to uh, remove this and make this new stuff fit. So let's start by uh, taking this apart and see what we have to work with. This top shield just unscrews from the bottom. It's just a protective uh, shield and it's uh, also the dust collection. So put this off to the side. Now this just unscrews. Let's 
got sort of like a nut on it that is just uh, tightened by hand. And then this, this spindle sander, which is a flexible thing here, comes right off. And you can see what I'm left with here. Uh, with this arbor, or axle, with threads on one end. So, what I want to see here is this flange. Yeah, so this flange fits over, but what we need to do is get another nut. It's a one inch nut, so that we have a stop for the inside flange. Alright, so that is something I'll have to pick up. But one will go on this way. And then we will see how many of these we can stack on here. Yeah, it will fit. You can see I've got them pressed together pretty well. I got a couple threads here and a couple threads there. So if I get a thin bolt for this side, pretty thin bolt, we might be able to make this work. Uh, worst case scenario, I just I won't be able to. Uh, have two of these on at a time, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a trip to the hardware store and see if I can find a nut, one inch nut with this thread pattern, and we'll be back. All right. So went to the uh, hardware store. Could not find uh, a nut this uh with this thread pitch and size to, to fit on here so here's a, another idea i have is this uh three quarter inch pipe acts as a really nice sleeve uh butts right up against the end here so what i'm thinking is what i can do is keep that this will be my stop instead of trying to find find a nut and let's see if we can stack these again so one flange on okay Put the second one on Look at that. Looks like we'll get just a couple threads. Oh, if I drop it, I won't. tighten that all right so that's a pretty good fit now I don't think we'll have a problem with this binding or anything here this pipe let's turn it on let's see what happens pretty good. Uh, I do want to get some of this dust cleaned out of this the drum sander because I don't want that getting into uh, the compound uh, and again just I don't want to have to you know basically grind that accidentally grind it into the finish so 
Let me turn the vacuum on and see if we can get that. All right, so it's all cleaned out. I'll turn this on again. So you can see the rake. Woo. Speed to it. There's a little bit of run out on this as you can see but I don't think there's much I can do about that it's still pretty tight on here so I'm happy so I think uh, that'll be it for this video converting this over is pretty simple pretty straightforward uh, next video I put out will be the last just about the last part in my guitar build series where I will be using this to actually polish uh, or polish the guitar finish so uh, thank you all for watching hopefully uh, this helps somebody else who might have a similar drum sander like comment and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time